In Nevada today, more than 100 first responders turning out to honor the firefighters who died in New York on 9-11. Many of them in full gear, climbing up and down the city's tallest building. Local 5's John Diaz was there with them and shares why this is becoming such an important tradition. Tony Collins Jr. gearing up like he has so many times before. Under structural boots, structural gloves, structural hoods, masks. But this time it's different. It's pretty important just to kind of replicate what they did that day. More than 100 first responders from across Iowa gathering to honor the more than 300 firefighters who died in New York on 9 11. Can't even put it in a magnitude that people can understand. And I, I think that's the importance of this climb and the 20th anniversary. Six trips up to the top of the tower at the Verbio facility in Nevada. That adds up to about the height of one of the Twin Towers. In the background, 20-year-old radio calls from Ground Zero. Now, about two-thirds of the way up, we recommend you transmit a fifth along for that tower as well. And along the way, climbers seeing the faces of the firefighters who died that day. This is Battalion Chief Dennis L. Devlin. Tony Collins Sr., a firefighter himself, proud of his son. My other son's a sheriff's deputy. Um, you know, it's an honor that they're called to public service. The event now in its third year. It's extremely humbling, um, you know, to see them do this climb. Uh, again, it kind of goes back to their uh, unselfish service to the community. For Collins Jr., a tradition he hopes his kids will get to be a part of one day, too. He's actually going through EMT school and hoping to follow my footsteps as well. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Innovative John Diaz, Local 5 News. We are Iowa. And a piece of steel from the Twin Towers was also on display at today's event.